everyone, welcome back to Read a Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're reading a book about my favorite season. And then comes Summer by Tom Brenner, illustrated by Jamie Kim. I just love this book because it talks about all the different things these kids do over their summer. What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Maybe they'll give you some great ideas. Let's see what they end up doing. And Then Comes Summer by Tom Brenner, illustrated by Jamie Kim. When the days stretch out like a slow yawn and leaves and grasses sparkle with dew and the cheerful faces of Johnny Jump Ups jump up, then throw on flip-flops and breathe the sweet air. When bumblebees bumble around in flowers and warblers flit from tree to tree, and the air thrums with the sound of lawn mowers. Then pump up your bike tires, dig out your helmet, and raise your seat. My, how you've grown. When the last class project is finished and your cubby is cleaned out of cookie crumbs and eraser bits, and end of your hugs have been given, then swap out backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups. When daylight pushes back bedtimes and crickets crick crick in the evening air and bugs as big as thumbs bang against windows, then play hide and seek until darkness wins. When stores unfurl the stars and stripes and flags wave from porches and cars and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting, then dress up your bike and pedal to the parade. When bands march by, left, right, left, right, and all manner of floats float past, and scouts and pioneers toss out candy, then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful sprays. When every day is like a Saturday, and porches and lawns and sidewalks are playgrounds, and a familiar jingle interrupts the game, then race to be the first in line. Almond fudge, please. When the dog days of summer roll around and it's so hot you're practically panting and not even the sprinklers provide relief, then it's time to head to the lake. Roll down the window and smell the hot, dry grass. Shout your favorite songs at birds swooping across fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? When the familiar sign appears at last and the silver lake winks through the trees and old friends run to greet you, then scramble out of the car, dash down to the beach, and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. And when dinner is over and stories have been told, and your fingers are sticky with marshmallows and chocolate, and the fire burns down to glimmering coals, then snuggle into your sleeping bag and plan tomorrow's adventures. What a great book. I loved all the different things that these three kids were able to do with their summer. And I know you're gonna have an awesome summer too. I loved reading with you today and I hope that we can read together again soon. If you click on the subscribe link below, you'll be able to see all the books we read in the future and all the ones we've done in the past. If you'd like to find some really fun activities to do this summer that go along with this book, you can always go to readaroukids.com. There we do arts and crafts, science experiments, and puzzles. I'd love to see you over there so that we can have a great summer together. If you'd like to see what we're up to in the future, you can always follow us on our social medias. Again, I loved reading with you today. I hope we can read together again soon. Until then, Readaroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.